So, this is a west side home in the Dickens School area. And uh, this is um, a video recording of a house that has Orangeburg sewer line out to the street. As the recording starts, you're actually in the basement, seeing the, uh, the basement around the uh, sewer clean-out tap. And it's a good idea, if you're having one of these recordings done, to have the plumber take a video of the uh, outside there, um, you're in the basement, so that a home seller or a real estate agent, anybody that sees this later, um, can identify for sure that it is the house in question. So we're looking there at about 24 feet. There seems to be some kind of problem with the side of that pipe. Uh, the plumber in this case didn't know exactly what that was. But as we go through this pipe, you can see the uh, water is indicating where the bottom of the pipe is. So right now it's in the upper left-hand corner. Now it's kind of on top, so the camera's uh, completely upside down. Uh, this is a house that was actually a foreclosure at this point and had been vacant for uh, uh, quite a few months. The water's turned off. This water you see flowing through the pipe is water that's just coming through the uh, drain tiles in the house or around the house, around the uh, foundation and flowing into the sewer line. As it turns out, the city of Ann Arbor uh, is in the process of disconnecting that type of water from the sewer line because during heavy rain conditions it, uh, it can overflow the sewer system in Ann Arbor. But that's another story. In any case, we're heading out here about 42 feet. This material you're seeing is actually the Orangeburg material. It's not orange. Um, it was just produced for the most part in a town, I believe in Pennsylvania, named Orangeburg. And um, that's why it has the name. But it's kind of a black material, uh, tar impregnated. Now right there at 51, you can see a, a joint. It looks like it might be coming apart. <clears throat> but right here at 53, and we'll see that in a little bit more detail a little bit later in the tape, there at the top, which is in the lower left-hand uh, portion at this point, the top of the Orangeburg is uh, crushing in to the pipe, and that's a, an actual failure there. Just a matter of time before it stops up the sewer and the sewer stops functioning. But here you can see the plumber is sending the camera all the way out to the end of the pipe. And right there, at 61 feet, changes from the Orangeburg material to crock. And at 65 feet, you can see it dumps into the, the city line. So he pulls out again. Right there, you can see it changing from the Orangeburg, the black material, to the ceramic crock material. And that's at the city connection uh, out in the street. You can see about the last three feet are that uh, that ceramic material. So now the plumber is going to pull the, the video camera back. And as he's doing that, uh, he's going to stop and uh, take a little bit closer look at that lump, that uh, failure at the 54-foot point. Once again, the, the water is just showing you the, the bottom of the pipe. So like right here, Water's on the bottom, the top is there in the lower left um, of your screen, and you can see from the top of the pipe, the pipe is actually uh, being crushed. The, the um, uh, Orangeburg material is in the process of failing, and so it's collapsing into the opening. Now, if this plumber had gone in there with the knives from a... a um, a normal roto rooter tool, which they, they call the ed, end of that tool, the knives, it would have caught that projection into the pipe and torn it up and, and potentially um, uh, jammed the roto rooter equipment in the sewer line and uh, might have made that sewer unusable right at that point. Um, it might have also just chopped that portion out of the, the sewer pipe structure and uh, created a, a complete failure at that point because the right above that you can see from the dripping there's moist moisture right above that and uh, water um, from the soils probably out in the front yard just uh, dripping in there. So this is a pipe that has a sewer line that's actually failed. 
um, are in the process of failing. It's just a time bomb. It, you know, it's unsure when exactly the toilets will stop working and the uh, sewage will be uh, flooding into the basement. But uh, this is a, a failed uh, sewer line in our view. And uh, in this transaction, we were actually able to negotiate a uh, concession from the seller to make the repair. This was especially unique in that this particular house was a foreclosure. Um, we just had uh, some, some good negotiating leverage to get the, uh, the bank to recognize this issue and uh, they did compensate for the defect in the house. Um, so as the, as the plumber is pulling this camera out, you can see the kind of the uh, checkered pattern there of the fibrous material of the orange bird and uh, as he gets back to about nine feet you'll see the the material changes and the pipe changes and that is where it uh, goes back to the right here coming up right there it's going to the cast iron pipe so there's the joint between the Orangeburg and the cast iron pipe out at nine feet so this is just out into the front yard um, a, a short distance from the uh, uh, the sewer clean out in the basement and then as the, uh, the plumber is pulling it back, you can see that's all the, uh, the cast iron. That is the joint where the, uh, around the foundation where the drain tiles are putting their water, contributing their water into the sewer line. And once again, that's something that it isn't done that way now. This house was built in the late 50s, early 60s when that was common practice. And so now you see the, the relatively clean line, and there we are back into the basement of the house. And once again, if you're having one of these recordings done, it's a good idea to, to make sure the plumber does a little bit of a recording uh, at the beginning and at the end so that you can see the basement in question. That helps if there's a, an issue at some point with a seller who feels that uh, he's not looking at the uh, uh, his own sewer line. So, uh, And then there's just some uh, highlights again from that 25-foot location.